Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a unique accordion block in your Squarespace website. We're going to use custom code to place large numbers at the front of the accordion item title in Squarespace. Now you can replace those numbers with a Unicode character or any text you want, but I thought numbers looked good, so we'll go ahead and start there. All of the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you to teach you exactly how to use them in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this tutorial is specific for version 7.1, the latest version of Squarespace. Now on the left-hand side of my screen here, you're going to see I've got the accordion block. Just simple items, we click on them, we can see a description, this is a standard accordion block. On the right-hand side of my screen is the code that we're going to use to customize it. And don't be intimidated by how much code is here, I'm going to teach you exactly how to use this. We're going to navigate to Website, then select Website Tools, then Custom CSS. This is where you'll paste the code that's also underneath this video. Instantly, you'll see our accordion gets an entirely new look. We have large numbers on the left-hand side, and we've customized some of the colors. Let me show you exactly what parts of this code you'll likely want to change. The first is the background color for this title. I have it set to this light blue shade that I really like, but you can change that to anything. Maybe you want it to be pink. We can change that color code to a different code or a web safe color name, and it will change the background of the accordion while it's closed. Clicking on the accordion item, we're going to get a second color when it's open. Here's how we edit that color. That's further down here in the code. You'll see I've labeled it accordion item title background when open. We can change this background color too. Maybe we'll want to try the color mint cream instead to have it a light green. That's really hard to see. Let's go ahead and change it to a light gray. There we go. That's a different color when the actual accordion item has been clicked on and we can see the description underneath it. Now, if you want to change the background of that description, I've got a line for that as well. Just replace this text right here with whatever color code you want to see. Maybe we'll go back to that same light gray as the title when it's open. There we go. So I changed the background for the description and the background for the title. When it's closed, it's going to be pink. That's in this line right here, labeled accordion title background. And when it's open, it's going to be gray. That's this line right here. And the description will also be gray. That's this line right here. Feel free to change that to any hex color code, web safe color name, or any other color code you'd like to use so it matches the style of your own unique website. Now, last but not least, how do we edit these numbers right here? Maybe you don't want them to be that big. Maybe you want to try a different font. Scrolling down here, I've labeled the large numbers in your code. I set them to be font size 3REM, but you could change that to maybe 50px. Or if you want them to be small, maybe uh, 15px. There we go. Now the numbers are super tiny. They can get their own background as well. We'll go ahead and say background. Uh, give it a solid white background. And let's add a little bit of padding there too. There we go. Now we have a smaller number in front of every accordion item title. Super customizable. Just make sure you identify this selector because we're placing the text before the click item target. Now at the very bottom of the code, you're going to see a lot of lines with numbers. I only have three items in this accordion, so technically I only need the first three. I can remove all of those lines of code and it will still look great. I added up to 10 of them just in case you have more items. This is where the actual text is created. So here, I've said one, two, and three for the first, second, and third accordion items. But we can absolutely change this. Maybe you want it to say first, and second, and third. As you can see here, super duper customizable. Just make sure you edit it for the corresponding count. This will always be placed in order. That's how you can customize this code. Again, it's all listed in the description below. If you're comfortable with CSS, play around with padding and borders and backgrounds and all kinds of fun stuff. Just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to modify that accordion block. Make sure that you update the values so that they match the style of your own unique Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like and let me know in the comments and visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's where you can find my personal code collection that includes all kinds of style snippets just like the one covered in this tutorial. You'll find that code collection at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.